When Levi comes on the scene, we have to bust out the merchandise, okay? <laughs> we have to bust out the merchandise. I'm wearing the Wings of Redemption today in honor of the scouts showing up right on time to save our boy Aaron. I have to say, man, I'm very, very intrigued by the series right now. <laughs> like, I'm into it. So I had to go and pick up a hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's unfortunate that I ordered this hoodie like literally about two weeks ago. <laughs> Just got in yesterday before my reaction today. And I was very happy to see because I really wanted it to come in before this week's episode. And it did. So I really am happy. It's very comfortable hoodie. I like it a lot um you know it's coming in from I, I don't even know i don't even know <laughs> saying i just bought this thing on amazon i saw it i was like oh that's a neat hoodie um they also had one that i really like in green and i was like i can't buy the green because if i buy the green i can't wear it because i use a green screen so i'll be completely invisible right now if i <laughs> if i had bought a green sweater it's actually black i don't know why it looks blue on screen i don't know it's actually a black hoodie i don't know why it looks blue on screen it's weird it's a, it's just a lighter color maybe i should need to do some color correction on my setup i don't know but anyways it is a hoodie right it works okay really nice hoodie i really like it you know I, I like my hoodies you know what i'm saying you guys have seen me wear a lot of anime well not a lot just a couple anime hoodies that i've worn so far on here so i really do appreciate you guys man for coming through and watching my attack on titan reactions we know what's going on man the scouts are about to attack the jaw titan mr what's his name galliard or whatever his name is <laughs> whatever his name is um you know i'm guessing these are the characters we got to learn their names because they're going to be in the series for a while so we might as well learn their names right so in terms of who they are and what they represent and there was a lot of conversations going on i checked out uh, other people's reactions and stuff like that so i noticed that there was a lot of conversation going on about you know whose side should we be on because you know Aaron is killing children out here and to me for me I'm a ride with with Aaron and the crew it doesn't seem like they're happy that Aaron's over here doing this and that's that's another thing too when Mikasa is telling him to come home seems like they're not really in tandem you know what I'm saying um because he actually said to Mikasa you know you guys actually showed up I guess he didn't really expect them to show up because, I, um, in my opinion, you know, from what I thought, I thought that Aaron and them was there infiltrating, but it was just him. It was just him because I thought he was probably just sending letters to, to, you know, the crew and stuff like that, but he had a couple of them there with him. You know what I'm saying? But he was the only one there and Aaron is... He is serious. You know what I'm saying? And you can't look at it. You can't look at this from an angle of, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Aaron is just doing the same thing that, you know, that was done to him. You know what I'm saying? You also got to understand that this is a traumatized guy, man. And you could put it, you could put him in the same category as Reiner, but Aaron was not brainwashed. You get what I'm saying? So in certain in certain ways, you can say Aaron is kind of worse in in some ways because he was not brainwashed into thinking anything other than you know what I'm saying. He just he just saw the destruction that these Titans came in and did, killed his mother, all of this other stuff. That's all that's that's in his head. That's in his mind. So it's not necessarily PTSD. This is just this is pure and unfortunate revenge on Aaron's side of things. You know what I'm saying? This is just, it's just revenge and he's blinded by it. Um, 
in terms of whose side I am on when it comes on to to this, I don't want to sound too brash, but I am still on Aaron's side because I feel like I can relate to him a lot better because um, I probably would have been doing the same thing because, listen, man, considering the circumstances, I think, I think that depending on what Willie said during that thing, I think things could have changed. If, if they had said, hey, let's go, you know, unite the, the, the Eldians and, you know what I'm saying, and, and stop all this war and fighting and stuff like that, maybe that would have changed Aaron's mind. But I think it's because of the declaration of war that Willie made. I think in terms of that, that's the reason why Aaron decided to just go bonkers. Because he's like, oh, okay, y'all are going to come for us if I, you know what I'm saying? Well, guess what? I'm already here. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all are cheering and crying, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are cheering and, and crying. Those let's unite and go take out, you know, the, the demons of paradise. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way I can root for people who are like that. Because cause at, the, at the end of the day, should you really be rooting for anybody? Because this is a, it's a loser's game. At this point, it's a loser's game. There's really no side you can, you can, you can a hundred percent support no side so you just at this point is just like okay <laughs> the, the story is just that good you know what i'm saying because it, it, it makes you think because you're like okay gabby and you know i think his name is udo and and um zofia that died in the last episode uh, gabby is still alive and you're looking at that and you're like oh this is this is this is Aaron all over again witnessing this this war you know what I'm saying? This, this war-centered things are happening around you that you can't do anything about. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Gabby's... I'm afraid that Gabby's going to get probably one-shotted or something. I don't know. That's what I'm worried about. I, I don't want her to die. Um, You know, but let me stop talking. Let's go watch the episode because that's what I'm here to do. <laughs> and then I'll have all my thoughts at the end of the episode. I'll see you guys then. All right, another incredible episode. Not an incredible episode. At this point in the story, guys, and I know a lot of people is, you know, complaining about the, the CG and all this other stuff. CG is not bothering me as much as some people. It's not as bad as people are trying to make it out to be aired. People are sending death threats to the studio. Calm down, people. Please, c calm down. It's not that serious, okay? They're doing the best that they can. Got pandemic. Got all sorts of stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? They might be overworked and underpaid. Who knows? Be patient, man. The fact of the matter is, the most important thing about Attack on Titan is not the animation. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't care that much. I don't put too much into animation. That's why you don't hear me talk about it that often. You hear me mentioning, mention it. Um, I think in the last review, I said that, you know, the CG, um, you know, there was some CG in there, whatever. I don't care. I'm more interested in how the story is progressing and what I'm seeing on the screen of what is taking place. It's a lot of janky animation. Don't get me wrong. Like the CG is extremely obvious. You know, um, it's there. It's a lot of it. It's obvious that a lot of this, a lot of these fights and moments are not being animated like drawn animation. It's, it's really obvious. You get what I'm saying? But for me, it does not matter to me that much because Attack on Titan to me is all about the story. It's all about the story. Yes, we would love to see these fights be animated a lot better. Trust me, I would too. I would love it too and I would praise it for that reason too. But let's talk about what happened in the episode because in my intro, I was saying to you guys that, you know, which side are we really on? And this this episode just goes so much more further beyond and i want to talk about armin's entrance also with the colossal titan 
right first and foremost i want to talk about that because when he saw all the dead bodies around he looked down and he said is this the view that you were seeing Bertholdt? so he's reminiscing to when they attacked you know over in paradise you know what i'm saying like is this what you were seeing the amount of people you guys killed you know is this what you were seeing so we are i'm talking about the minor parts first so we we know what their escape route is now now that we finally see angie um i, I don't i don't know i mean look at look how they bruh look how they animate angie and make angie look like herself why couldn't they do that from because i think that's the most disrespectful thing in this in this anime so far and i know a lot of people is gonna be like oh it doesn't it's not a big deal it's really not a big deal but you kind of you you could have done better with the anime with how mikasa looks mikasa does not look like this i went back and i read those chapters in the manga so don't tell me it's manga animation because it's not and i know a lot of people is gonna be like that's how she looks in the manga that's not how she looks in the manga okay because a lot of people say this is more similar to the manga drawing and how it looks right monk mikasa looks like a dude bro she looks like a dude she has really no female features anymore it's 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 kind of like it, it, i don't know they gotta fix that i really do think they should fix that sasha looks like sasha Hanji looks like Hanji, but for some reason they had to ruin Mikasa. Okay, I'm salty about it. Yes, because they ruined the best girl in the anime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But in any case, let's move on, <laughs> right? So their their plan is to escape using the airship, collect everybody, including Eren, and leave in the airship. I love how Levi waited and attacked Beast Titan from behind cart titan is down jaw titan just getting super emotional because we know that he's um what's his name i'm about to call him marco <laughs> but it's not marco um it's not marco man or is it marco the guy his brother is the one is is the former jaw titan holder before ymir took it right so so yeah because i at first i was saying he's Berthold's brother from the conversation but he's not he's actually um the, the 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 one that went with him that's his brother the one that got eaten by ymir and ymir woke up right that is the one right so he rushes in super emotional he's the only one left and man did they do him dirty from the minute Aaron noticed that he could scratch. Because I noticed it too. Because they made sure that they showed it in the animation. Where he, he swiped at Aaron. And he scratched the, the hardening of the, of the Warhammer Titan. That she was encased in. She was all done. After a, she, she didn't do anything. Let's just call it what it is everybody else is an amateur for some reason the only person that's there that's probably a seasoned titan as a as a titan shifter is it, it seems like it's only reiner and the beast titan everybody else seemed like they just got a titan power i can understand porco right we can understand him galliard right we can understand him not having the experience right we can definitely understand him. We can understand. We don't. Um, Peek has been around since we, you know, you know what I'm saying. In season three, we got introduced to her, so we don't know how long she has had. She has had it, right? Or maybe she was around during that time, but they, but she, they just didn't go. I'm not sure how the timeline went, but I don't think. I think I think Galliard and Peek is fairly new with their time well not really fairly new they've been around for a while but they don't have enough practice because they've been you know you know in a war for years and stuff so they've had time in their titan shifting forms to get used to it but they seem so i don't know warhammer titan you would think that she would have put up more of a fight and do something but she ran out of juice 
pretty quickly. Even Aaron was saying, I can see that you're out of juice, but I'm still not out of tricks. He jumped out, transformed again, which is probably a record because I'm pretty sure that nobody has ever accomplished that. We just constantly transforming literally in the space of less than, I want to say five minutes. I'm pretty sure, that, I mean, we, you know, with everything going on simultaneously, I'm pretty sure in, in anime time, it doesn't seem like it's five minutes, but it's literally probably about five to 10 minutes since all of this started, right? Since Eren transformed the first time. So he's out here recognizing things, taking him, using him like a nutcracker to eat the Warhammer Titan, which is another thing, another thing that I think they missed in, in, in that um, scene there. They should have showed the Warhammer Titan going down. You know what I mean? Like, they, all they did was show, like, a difference in the eyes and stuff like that. I think that's something that they could have put in there. But they didn't even show her falling into the throat or nothing like that. Um, so, I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't show that at all. So, I just had to use my imagination. You know what I'm saying? Because all we saw was just the blood. Right? Saw the blood. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, to me, the, the best part of it was that in this episode, that was the best part of the episode. But at the same time, it, I'm looking at it and I'm, li and I'm like, Aaron did this in the, 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 the most savages of ways that he could have did. The way how, how Mikasa cut off his legs, because, you know, he jumping around, not paying attention, just jo jumping in, you know, not paying attention cut off the jaw titan's legs boom and then aaron grabbed him and tore both of his his arms off and then he put the warhammer titan inside of his mouth picked up him by his head <laughs> bruh picked him up by his head right as i change colors <laughs> and squeeze his head and use him as a like a nutcracker cracking a, a egg or a really hard nut <laughs> and then cracking and breaking the, the war the warhammer titan out and then let me fix my camera you refocus get back my good complexion here <laughs> right so the way how he did that was so well done. And as I said, the only part of it that I that I think they could have done better. And I'm not saying this to you know I'm not sending no negativity towards Mappa's way because I think they're doing what they can with this. And you know, and and I don't want to spend too much time on it because I know that they're struggling. It's the same thing that happened with 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 Haikyuu. And a lot of people you know, I bashed it. I bashed the anim the animation was terrible. Like you can't, you know what I'm saying? In an anime like Haikyuu, I talked about it a lot more because the anime completely and utterly depends on animation for for you. Well, not completely, but for the most part, the anime depends on animation to be great for you to really, really get immersed into that anime. If the animation is not good, it kind of takes you out of what you're watching. Because if it's janky animation, when it's a sports anime, it's a little different. You get what I'm saying? So, I don't want to spend too much time on it because I understand what they were going through. You know what I'm saying? Pandemic going on. And it's the same thing here. They're going through a pandemic. They, they might not have the staff that they should have had to to um to create this and 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 they were you know what i'm saying they couldn't delay it any longer because a lot of times you know because of production studios and stuff like that they push things to go forward when they can wait you get what i'm saying attack on titan fans weren't gonna go anywhere because you decide to delay attack on titan for another six months or so just so you can get the animation right it wasn't gonna go nowhere, but because they, I'm pretty sure that that's what probably happened. Like, oh, no, we gotta capitalize. We gotta capitalize, and that can and that can cause a lot of things 
you know to just go all right it's the same thing where when it comes on to call of duty i think they should take a break in between call of duty now but because you know oh we got to get this money and keep this money train rolling we have to put out a call of duty every year and then put out the same crap every year and then the fans just got to accept it well no i'm i'm done with call of duty you guys need to make a better game cold war is trash <laughs> it's absolute trash and because of that you're forced to play you know with these sweaty dudes you know what i'm saying i just feel like it's not a great game it's not a great multiplayer it's just it's, it's not some people are forced to play it because of content but because i'm a casual call of duty player i don't have to play it so whatever um so in terms of this as i said as the story progresses now Aaron has the attack titan power the war happen titan power you know what i'm saying i don't know why he paused i don't know why he dude just eat the jaw titan why are you worried about what reiner dude what is he gonna do <laughs> you know what i'm saying but you know it's anime right so we gotta accept that anyways um so i think what's gonna happen next with reiner coming out now but he looks janky <laughs> he doesn't look like he transformed fully he doesn't seem fully armored um but you know you know what i'm saying as i was saying during the reaction you know the the, the the anime battle cry you know the last hope you know what i'm saying the last hope the cry for the last hope you know it's it's um sakura during the pain arc when naruto arrived you know what i'm saying naruto and you know what i'm saying and it it, it happens in anime and it was well done here because it wasn't just one cry it was a continuous continuous crying and then reiner having this inner dialogue <laughs> why can't you guys just let me die in peace you know what i'm saying so let's see what reiner can do reiner always gets his ass whoops so i'm not as i said guys like i'm i'm loving what aaron is doing but at the same time there's still like this this sinkhole in my heart because i'm like i should not be cheering for aaron but he's so badass right now. Like, how can you not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After all that you've seen Aaron been through this entire time, bro. After all this, being betrayed, his mom getting eaten, all of this other stuff, watching so many of his friends die. Like, all of the stuff that he's been through. It's hard not to take his side doing this. As I said, it's pure revenge. But it's kind of sweet. <laughs> not going to lie to you guys it's kind of sweet um but at the same time it's like damn i wish he didn't kill no kids though <laughs> you know what i'm saying you gotta like <laughs> you know what i mean so anyways guys thank you guys so much i don't want to talk too long because i gotta get this video up so i can go hop on the live stream anyways guys thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all thanks for you coming through keep um coming through for these videos every sunday man i'm gonna try my best to get these out before i hop on stream on mondays i appreciate y'all i will see y'all guys next week don't forget to like the video don't forget to leave a comment i will catch you guys next time for some more attack on time this shit is lit let's go i'm out <laughs>